Hey guys, my name is Willow Hand and today we're on my farm in Nashville, Tennessee. It's a beautiful spring day, super warm and sunny, so I've been dying to get outside all day. So I thought this would be a fun video idea to do today. So I've been doing this new series where I tell stories about different career highlights and some of my frequently asked questions so that you guys can get to know me a little bit better. And I thought today would be the perfect next video in the series. So if you're interested in videos like this, make sure you are subscribed so that you can see all of them when they're coming out. But today's story is going to be the day that I shot my very first Vogue cover. And it was something that was such a big milestone in my career, something that I'd been really excited about for a long time. There were several close calls where I've been on set shooting for other Vogues and they do kind of a cover try where they'll take the pictures that they're shooting and think about using them for a cover. And that had happened a few times, but I had never actually gotten the cover before. So I've been teased a few times. I didn't really believe that it was actually going to happen this time, but it did. So I remember it was the summer of 2016. I'd been modeling for about a year and a half at the time and I was living in New York. It was kind of an early summer shoot. Um, so it was nice and warm and sunny out. But I remember I was in New York and I got the option for the job. And an option is basically when your agency contacts you and says that a client is thinking about booking you for a certain day and wants to see if you're available or interested in doing the job. So. Obviously, I was super, super excited for this one and said yes, um, and the client ended up confirming me really shortly after, so that was super exciting. Um, and then I flew to London very soon after that. The job was in London. It was a Vogue Russia cover, and it was shot by Mariano Vivanco. And so we had a full European team, and I remember I landed in London and then we actually shot the editorial several hours outside of London into the countryside. And it was the first time that I ever went to the countryside in the UK and it is so beautiful. Uh, we got up really, really early. I think the call time was like 5 a.m., something like that. It was super early. It was still dark when we all woke up and everything. And we started driving out into the countryside and. It was just such a fun day. This is honestly probably my favorite shoot that I've ever done. Um, it was this big, they rented like a big camper van, okay? And so they piled us all into the camper and we had like a living room and a kitchen and all of this stuff on this big van. And we started just driving out into the countryside and we were driving and if you've ever been to the UK, the roads are so narrow. Like some of them, there's like little stone walls on each sides of the road. And so we kept driving along and someone would be trying to pass us or something. We were in this massive, massive van and we kept getting stuck and having to turn around and try to take different roads. And so it took way longer to get there than it even should have. But once we finally arrived, it was the most beautiful little farm that I've ever seen. It was super, super old. I think it was built in like the 16 or 1700s, the little house. And I mean, it was so old that the rooms were tiny. I had to like duck to go through the little doorways and everything in the building because it was so so small and it was just so gorgeous there were chickens on the shoot i grew up on a farm and i love any sorts of animals so anytime there's animals on a shoot i'm like always running around playing with them and stuff so there was chickens there was a little pig on the farm there were little mini ponies there were all these really cute little animals running around all over the place and so we got to the farm and something that happened a lot early on in my career, um, I did a photo shoot where they bleached my eyebrows. And when you go on set, they always have like inspiration pictures. And a lot of the time it'll be pictures of you from other shoots that they really liked the hair or the makeup or something that they wanna try to recreate. And so this time they decided that they were going to bleach my eyebrows again. And it's, not my favorite thing to happen. It's a little bit of an extreme process. They didn't do like a full bleach, but still it's like itchy, burny, tingly. And so right off the bat, they started bleaching my eyebrows. And there was another girl on the shoot as well. Her name is Hannah Elise. And this was the first day that we met and we became really great friends after this day actually. So they started off doing like fittings and shooting her a little bit while I was getting my eyebrows bleached. And, but it wasn't that bad. Like I said, they didn't do a full bleach. It was just a little bit. Um, so my eyebrows are kind of like 
a sandy blonde in the pictures, but we were just running around. The team was so much fun. Like everyone was just having an amazing time with each other. Everyone was on the same page. The pictures were turning out gorgeous and we are just shooting, 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 shooting all day. And sometimes it gets really exhausting when that's happening, but everyone was so high energy and so much fun. And I was just so excited to be there. And I still didn't really believe that it was gonna be the cover, but all day I was just like trying as hard as I could to really get amazing shots so that hopefully I would get the cover. And every, uh, every look that we did, every time we changed outfits or locations or something, I was just like, so excited like maybe this one's gonna be the cover i don't know um and we shot there were a lot of pictures i think it was like 13 or 14 looks which is a lot for an editorial normally when you're shooting for a magazine you don't really do as many outfits because each picture is really specific and creative so it's harder to um harder to change a lot during the day but we were just rolling and having so much fun out there but it was warm it was pretty beautiful such an awesome day um we were it was one of the only jobs that i've ever done where all day i was just like enjoying the moment and wishing that the day was never going to end it was just so magical um so we did a bunch of shoots a bunch of looks outside we did all these really cool pictures where i'm like kind of crawling through the grass um and out in the nature and we did some like with the fence and everything outside and then as the sun kind of started going down we moved and started shooting in the little cottage a bit more and there are all these different rooms with like really cool wallpaper and like there's interesting designs and stuff going on in there and it was kind of a challenging shoot the concept of it was that we were like kind of sisters um that were like a little bit stranded in this little farmhouse and so it was, um, it, we had never, me and Hannah had never met before that day, but we were fast friends. She's from Australia and she looks totally different than me. She has really dark black hair, um, but we both have really bright blue eyes. And so after this job, we started being roommates together in New York and we had so much fun for several different fashion weeks. We lived together in different cities and stuff and just had so much fun together. But it was funny because we look totally opposites but she is so sweet and down to earth and we just had so much fun together so i think that was definitely part of why this experience was so memorable but um so at the end of the day we went home packed up and i flew back to new york and when you do a job like this it takes several months typically for the pictures to come out sometimes they tell you which issue the pictures are going to be for sometimes they don't and so i don't think that I knew which issue the pictures were gonna be. Um, but I remember it wasn't very long. It was like maybe only a month after we shot that I was over, I was back in Europe. And I did a big summer trip where I went to London again. And then I went and I spent several weeks in Copenhagen in Denmark. And so I remember I had gotten to Denmark and we were staying in this little house that was really, really far away from the town. like. It was like two hours from Copenhagen or something, and it was just out in the middle of nowhere. The signal was terrible and there was no Wi-Fi. So I remember that there is, I saw that uh, Vogue Russia was teasing that they were gonna be releasing a new issue. And I got so excited because I was like, okay, maybe this is gonna be the one, maybe it's gonna be the cover. I don't know yet. It's nothing was, nothing's ever promised, you know? So I was so excited trying to load it and I couldn't load it because I didn't have any service. And so I remember they had this like rickety old bicycle at the cottage. And so I got on the bicycle and I just started riding my bike as far as I could. And I was like, I looked like in one of those like old movies where, you know, the character is like running around holding their phone up, trying to get service. That's exactly what I looked like. I was riding my bike everywhere, 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 trying to find somewhere with service. And then I finally was able to load it and it was me. I was on the cover and I could not believe it. I mean, that was just so exciting. I, it was such a big milestone and I couldn't believe that I finally achieved it. And the pictures looked phenomenal. Mariana did such an amazing job. The lighting was gorgeous. Hair and makeup were really great. And the whole editorial was just beautiful. So the cover came out and then it took a little while before the rest of the magazine was released. So it took um, 
took some more time to be able to see the rest of the pictures, but I mean, as more and more pictures came out, it was just beautiful. It was everything I'd ever dreamed of, and I was so excited to finally see it. So that is the story of the first Vogue cover that I ever shot. And it was such an amazing experience. And thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if you want to see more stories, if you have any ideas for any things that you, any stories that you want me to tell, make sure to leave them in the comments and I'll be watching out and reading them. But thank you so much for watching and make sure you're subscribed.